friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how I warm up as a professional singer. This is what I found that works best for me, so take it with a grain of salt. It's not gonna work for everyone. I always start my warm ups with lip trills. They are semi occluded, which means the mouth is partially closed, and this provides back pressure to the vocal folds. This allows them to vibrate with more ease and less effort. Of course, they also build proper breath support and a balanced tone. Oh, my nose is so tingly. Busy bees are good because it's an easy five note pattern that gets the voice forward. They're also easy on the vocal cords because we're still kind of early in the warm up. Depending on the day, I might skip this one or do more variations of it, just depending on how my voice feels and what it needs. These sound super silly, but I always feel the benefit when I do them. They force me to sing in the mask and have a nice bright buzz to my sound. This one helps to open up my full voice and connect my high and low registers. Spanning to two octaves, it also gets my voice vibrating on all fronts so that I can use vibrato no matter what style I'm singing in. To make my voice sound like one column of sound instead of two separate head voice and chest voice. My voice teacher in college would call this one staccato and it really helps me understand sound connection to the breath. It helps me make sure that I'm not starting to sound in my throat and I'm supporting it properly with my breath. And there you have it. This is the core of my warm up, and then I will pick and choose other warm ups that I want to do depending on what my goals are for that day. It's important for me to do these vocalizes not just to warm up, but to make sure that I'm keeping my voice in shape. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I wanna know in the comments below what is your favorite warm up. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a great day.